Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data analytics manager working in Oslo, Norway. This is the sixth and final video in my series on how you can create a data analyst portfolio from scratch. In this video, I'm going to summarize the work that we have created throughout the series and also show you guys how you can align the look and feel of the data analyst portfolio with your resume and your CV. So we started off by setting up a practice environment consisting of a SQL Server instance. We installed SQL Server Management Studio and then we restored two databases. Now you can keep using that environment to practice, to practice your SQL queries or if you want to look at tables and how they are structured for data warehouse purposes. Then we looked at a business request from the business side and we created a business demand overview and some user stories which ties back to agile development which is also good for you to know as a data analyst. In the third part of the series we did more of data cleaning and transformation using SQL which was all done in the practice environment which once again is something you can do if you want to practice your SQL queries. Then we moved on to what I think is a lot of fun which is when we get stuff into Power BI so we connected our tables that we have just cleansed and transformed to create a data model and then we created the actual dashboard so we created one dashboard as a sales overview and two additional pages which had a focus on customers and on products the final piece of the puzzle was to identify which elements we wanted to bring into our portfolio and then we used wordpress which is a content management system to take these elements and structure it as a web page and it is now available online the last step i want to take is i want to make sure that my resume and my cv has the same look and feel as my data analyst portfolio so when you apply for jobs they will have the same look and feel all across so here you can see an example of what my resume could look like and what I've done is I have made sure that I use the same colors and the same fonts as I use in my data analyst portfolio. Other than that, it's really not that much more else to it. That will give it the same look and feel as your data analyst portfolio. Now this is the resume. Now you can see here I have used the same stuff for my cover letters, same, you know, same heading, same colors. And notice that I've linked to my portfolio here on top because I want to make sure that they, they, they see that link and they go into the portfolio because all of it together is a package deal. Now, if you want to know, if you want to figure out how you can figure out which font that you used on the, in the portfolio, you can go to my sites. And I believe that if you go to customize, it's going to be under fonts and you can see the headings was overpass. The base font was Roboto and I've used those fonts. I've used the headings. I've used overpass for the headings and I've used Roboto for the rest. And what I did is I've actually added it on my uh, example resume, which I will add a link to in this in the description. So now you can go in if you want to look at what the end result is for me. Um, you can look at the portfolio, you can click my resume and you can just look at the picture of that just to see how it kind of aligns in terms of colors and fonts and the same with the cover letter. So everything kind of comes together and it becomes a nice package all together. So those were the last steps in my series on how you create a data analyst portfolio from scratch. Now to end this series off a little bit more casual, I hope you guys have learned something from these videos. I hope it has maybe inspired you to create your own data analyst portfolio. I think it can be quite useful, especially if you learn to know it and you get comfortable presenting it. I think it can be very useful in a job application process or a job pursuit um, process wherever you are right now. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I don't really have that much else to say. If you guys have you know any good video ideas for me, I would love to hear about that. If you guys have some thoughts on different or other types of portfolios, you know, I would love to hear about that in the comment section. Other than that, you know, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to follow this channel, if you guys want to support me or see more videos on data and analytics, then of course subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.